All right, so this is the Horseshoe Rock or the U Rock, and it is currently the strongest location to build in the entire game on any map. Um, it is not the single strongest base, but it is the strongest location to build. We're going to be able to put over 20 different unsplashable bunkers with like a giant normal base or a roof camping tower on top of the rock. It's just like you could do so much stuff with this and to explain it a little bit better. We're going to channel our inner Stevie and Hoppo. We'll go over to MS Paint. Once you find your horseshoe rock, like just say it's like this or your U rock or whatever you want to call it. Um, the only important thing is the perfect placement of this, your first like five by eight in here of squares square foundations um so with the perfect placement of that you'll be able to put a roof bunker here a roof bunker here these close ones back here will be splashable be able to pull it out be able to pull it out and go up here and put two to four more so you should be able to put six roof bunkers that you could upgrade to hqm there um, and you could leave these two square foundations wood where you go to build out and then you you build out more square foundations all around the rock and if you place your TC not in the very back of the rock, because that will push the privilege out, you want to put your TC up in one of these front ones, whether it's the the middle or the very front. Um, and that way, when you go to build around your rock and you put a bunker here and a bunker here and a bunker here, everything with like two to three boxes in it and a bunker here or maybe one, depending on how many rocks are in the way. Um, put all your bunkers all around here. You'll be able to put a second TC. You'll be able to hatch these out hatch these uh, wood foundations out that connect them once you build out and you like you get your resources um you'll be able, to be able to put a second tc on one of the back corners of the rock just like this um then you'll have the the double privilege so even if they break one of them it's just like a guessing game and a gambling game and then you'll be able to freehand up off of your original placement on the second topical gra topographical layer of the rock like shown here and then you'll be able to place more bunkers, a high, high stability, like double high foundation with a twig roof opening bunker or normal ceiling stability bunkers. You'll be able to place more right here. You'll be able to place many more. Um, again, I got like 25 that were unsplashable as my maximum. Um, and then there's a big plateau on the very top that you don't need to freehand or anything. You'll just be able to place a giant two by fully honeycomb two by two or three by three with no honeycomb on the top of the rock. And then you could place a TC on the fourth or fifth floor because of the spherical privilege. Um, and then at any point in this, you did you never have to connect these build out rocks around. You could put this on an external TC going out around here on any one of these if you wanted more. Um, but because the building block tax has to be reduced below 66 building blocks to for us to get the, the lower tax bracket, um, it's not really worth it to do more than three TCs on the bottom. Um, so you could do two or three it doesn't matter but it's really just a gambling guessing game and there's like 30 bunkers and you could have a giant two by two to defend yourself on top and then you could compound everything off and it's incredibly nice and incredibly easy and we'll show you how to do it all right it's super simple to build and the only thing that you have to double check before you upgrade everything you're gonna bring out your building plan square foundation make sure you're placing everything high enough where you could build around on your terrain for your foundation and you're going to start on the left side of your horseshoe rock and you're going to make sure this square you're going to place a line of squares all the way back just like that and make sure it's lined up if you have everything like a skew for your rectangle it's not going to work you need a perfectly lined up rectangle starting from up here all the way in the back let's try it like right here and it looks like we went too far back because we won't be able to place anything in that back one. So we need to place that a bit higher up, a bit more forward, more frontwards, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. And just like this, and place that back one just like that. And you need to check this wall right here to see if there's some huge gap like this where they could rock it in and despawn your loot. So we need that one more time. Again, this is like the hardest starting part of it before you claim it. And we'll do that one more time. Practice this lineup all the way back. Looks like we have a very small negligible gap. Keep in mind when you upgrade it to HQM, it'll be a larger hitbox. They're not going to be able to get anything in there. And we can still place a box in here, looks like. Correct. We got everything. We can put two boxes in there. Then you're going to go ahead and check everything else. Fill out your squares. Check all of your other available bunkers. Just like this, build your perfectly lined up rectangle just like that right in the center and then on ones like this these two back ones are always going to be splashable 
So if we try it in this direction, you'll see we have a huge gap. So you could flip that around and face it in this direction since they're always going to be splashable. And then now when you open it in this direction like this, you'll be able to come down here and access barrels or boxes. And keep in mind, you can skin it before you demolish it to access things deeper. And then before we claim everything and upgrade with our TC, we're going to check our placement of our other bunkers. We want to go two foundations away, leave these open to place our boxes. Um, we want to go two foundations away so they're not splashable. And we're going to check this one right here like this. This one looks great. It looks like there's a small gap in that direction that we can block out or do something later. And let's see if we could flip that around actually, see if it's worse on this side. It's still pretty bad on that one, so we'll just go, we'll save that one for later. See if we got one over here for our TC. This one looks fantastic for our TC. No gap right there. So we'll place our boxes, upgrade everything here. Place our first box. You can upgrade it to stone, whatever you want to do. TC, and uh, maybe if we could fit a second box or maybe a barrel or whatever you want to do in there. Upgrade everything there. Check our placement. I think this one should be good. If we if we block that off right there, we'll be able to put something in here. You can check your placement however you want to do things. Upgrade everything else to stone around here. Upgrade these bunkers. Place your boxes, whatever you want to put in here. Place your barrels, small boxes. Same thing right here. Just like that. And then when we go out to, once you have your four bunkers here, your gambling guessing game for the 60 rockets or 15 rocket, because we don't have a second TC yet, to block the privilege for them to open it, even if they do guess it correctly. We're gonna build out like this, leave this one wood, upgrade that to stone. And it looks like we need to go up on here. So we'll leave like this and leave this one wood and upgrade these to stone like this. So here's our disconnectable point. So we'll be able to put everything on a different TC later. And then we can build out like this and you can, honey, you could add a whole base into this and add like an entrance or whatever. But this is gonna be our disconnectable point. As long as you don't connect it with the walls like this, this foundation will be a disconnectable point. Um, then you're just going to build squares all the way around your rock. on one TC and you can take your time to add as many bunkers as you want with all however much loot you want in all of these just like that and you can upgrade continue and then once you once you're ready and you add however many bunkers as you want you could add a ton with just a couple boxes in each I'm right, gonna break this and break this. You're gonna disconnect these. Um, then you're gonna find a back corner bunker, find a spot for a bunker in the back corner for you to put a TC. Um, as you can see, we'll be we'll be un we'll be free from privilege once we hit this corner. And then we'll just go. Let's see. Let's try to find a good spot. All right. Now, once we have dropped everything down, we'll have a better spot to put our TC somewhere. Let's see. Looks like right here may be fantastic. Yep, and we'll put our second TC right here. It looks like we just had too high of foundations after I dropped everything. Everything is good. We'll find better bunker locations. Just like this one here. And now we have two CTs attached to everything. One up keeping the rear bunkers and one up keeping the core. And if you do, make sure you upgrade these. This one doesn't need to be. And again, you can just determine however many bunkers you want to do in here. Try ones like this uh, over this way. This one looks fantastic actually right here. Do one right there. 
and you can just continue around all right and then you could literally add as many as you want so we have two tcs right now and once you have however many bunkers you want to add to your rock all around the perimeter with one of them one tc in the corner and one in the core for a gambling man's like 100 rocket 200 rocket base um, you are going to still be able to add continuous bunkers to this rock so you can build up like this on this side build a floor out overhanging freehand a foundation to connect back like this in this pattern and then you build a place a square here let's see if we can get a foundation up here a foundation up here and not this one let's see if we can get a square up here can't get a square up there but you'll build a place just you could do just like a regular stability bunker if you wanted to like this if you wanted some that weren't twig like twig roof opening for even if they got tc they wouldn't be able to break anything something like this and that'll attach those and then you can still open these bunkers just like this not with this one but yeah just like that you don't need this floor you just need those and uh, you could attach this for another bunker up here you just be able to attach it and freehand a bunker up just like that and attach it back to your original core for another HQM bunker up there like that and then you can continuously build out up here however uh, however far you can go hopefully hopefully continuously build out for some more bunkers over here and then you could freehand after you check however many bunkers you want to build on that side you could do the same exact thing on this side again with the twig the twig wall freehand just like this and place a foundation looks like this one is causing us to clip in there as well but you will you could not from this direction maybe freehand up from just over here like so and then place a foundation over here then we can connect the foundation over here same way just with like wall frames we could just do upgrade these to stone four frames for no soft side wall frame right here add this as a break all this twig this was just into your base add this as like some other kind of bunker you could do whatever you want up here whatever you could build let's see we could do something over here a two by one um you could even build back like this and build over into the rock just like this for a two by one up here that's also connected just for a regular base and then once you have all of that like once you have all of the bunkers however many you want to do but this is just like construction testing and once you have like the 20 on the bottom build up freehand over here build whatever you want a base all the way up here bunkers up here another base or some more rock bunkers up here you'll be able to freehand a square foundation over this huge like gap right here freehand a square over that as tall as you can over that like right there and then you'll be able to place a if you get it right you'll be able to place a whole like a four by four three by three two by two honeycomb so try it like uh like right where was that there boom and now look at look what we could do up here uh the four by three you could build this up here and then once you're all the way up you claim it like this uh Once you're all the way up uh, to like the fourth or the fifth floor. You could place another TC for spherical coverage on this random four by four on top of the rock, just four stories up and you could just claim it with double doors on a big column like this and surround it with a two by two or a four by four shell later. And then you would just be able to build a normal whole giant three by three on here or whatever you wanted to do like some giant clan base overlooking all of your bunkers and it's just incredibly incredibly crazy for a full rocket raid cost 
and it's super nice and super easy.